Let's look at the latest news for Izonzo, a World War 1 hardcore tactical shooter coming to console. Number 1, Izonzo console release. This game releases on PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Series X, S and PC quarter 2 2022, meaning we will see the game released between April 1st and June 30th. Not too long to wait at all. They will be running a beta 2 on the PC, so things are moving in a positive direction. Also great news for anyone that was wondering if they could still play on the last generation you can. Number 2, Tactical World War 1 Combat. This hardcore shooter takes place in World War 1 in the backdrop of the Italian Alps. I got a chance to play the Alpha a few months ago and it has a beautiful colour palette and the attention to detail is fantastic. It's deadly and you want to be careful and have a slower playstyle. This time around on the Steam page of Izonzo they have emphasised tactical multiplayer first person shooter. You have snipers for picking off longer range enemies and defending your positions from engine engineers. Izonzo has barbed wire that needs to be cut, grenade launchers, machine gunners, riflemen, there's real purpose to the roles. With the addition of levolution type moments it gives more depth to the game. Destroying bridges to stop enemies, defending barbed wire to stop enemies getting an easier route towards your capture points. On top of this historically accurate customization, which is shown on screen. Number 3, full gore support. Now a lot of people talked about insurgency sandstorm and the lack of realistic gore. In Izonzo it it's very brutal. Full body gore, blood, limbs can be blown off. It adds to the grittiness of this title. It's a hardcore shooter as well, so one shot from a bolt action will usually kill you. Drop a like, subscribe with all bell notifications if you want to keep updated with tactical shooters on console. Number 4, Player Count. There will be 48 real players. There is also support for single player bot matches which is a nice addition as Tannenberg and Verdun both suffered from small player counts. I hope more people give this game a go, it's very enjoyable from my time playing the alpha build on PC. Also to mention the maps are linear and are just big enough for the player count so it always feels action packed. Number 5, next generation upgrades. I would assume we will see similar upgrades that we saw in Tannenberg and Verdun on console. Higher resolutions, higher textures, uncapped frame rates for smoother gameplay. This isn't going to be a massively demanding game so it shouldn't struggle too much on last generation consoles either. It's also likely we will see cross platform support between consoles which is really needed. Drop a like, subscribe with the bell, here's some videos that you may have missed.